Stacy the Connect. Mondays are the new Fridays. Why are you blocking me, DJ Uncle Tom? We are live and it's a Mamante. We have the one and only. It's a new year. I think the world is about to end. We have <laughs> shampoo in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, what up? I just had to come say hello, man, to my whole family, man, DTF Radio. Mark, what the fuck, nigga? What is up? Uh, Shout out DJ Jazzy Joyce yeah, on the check it. We saw yeah, my yeah, early yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Twerk. DTF Radio every Monday, 8 to 10 is the new what? Mondays are the new Fridays. Ooh, I like it. Monday is the new Friday. I got I got my, my guy DJ Robbie Rob here. You know what I mean? We we about to drop this uh, first quarter mixtape. Uh, Robbie Rob, talk to him, baby. Yeah, the, the first quarter mixtape this year. You know, every beginning of the year. What up, Boombox? Labels, everybody's looking to get that new wave. You know what I mean? That, that real good, good, good music. The new, you know, somebody heard some difference being some different every year now. It's like, you know, we don't know what's next. So, you know, the, the first quarter mixtape 2019, Robbie Rob. Shampoo is a great collaboration. Shampoo's with it's intact with all the major record labels, and I'm intact on that uh, that mixtape mainstream. You know what I'm saying? And for real quick, man, just give them five last mixtapes you just did, um, Robert Rob. Just in case, oh, you know, they they just they just appeared from from you know yeah, yeah, anywhere. Well, I did Drake first mixtape. That was that was that was like I was crazy. I Drake the first mixtape. First mixtape. Did nice. like a million streams on the internet. First work it was on our live mixtapes. Me and Jay just got a lot of mixtapes. Did Jay Z? Me and Fifty did it together. Um, it's so many, man. I did uh, shit, Michael Jackson. I did Maddie J's. Like, he's just just like legendary classic. Your little Wayne, your little Wayne got an award mm. for our, one of our mixtapes. We did three of them, so it was crazy. Me and Lana is ridiculous. I did Camera on Dips, and I did them all. It's like now, it's crazy. now let me ask you this, man. As as a guy that came up in the mixtape era, and you know what I mean, and and no. That this was been the way to break artists for many years. Do you still think mixtape is is relevant? That's a fact. They they, they, they rename it LPs, and EPs now, and stuff like that. But it's still a, a mixtape. It's still a mixtape. Right? It's still it's, it's still a, it's like YouTube become the new mixtape as well. Don't don't get it twisted, man. You can, you don't have to wait to hear something on the radio six nine prove that that you can go right to a YouTube link and click it. And then figure out, oh shit, okay, it's the shit. And, and then, you know, the, the newer generation, their environment picked their music now. And now radio has to chase that, that record. As opposed to, if you've been working records for the shit, how I many years? 20 years. So you know it was going to towns and yeah. distribute. Bring your records, bring your records. records. You feel me? To, to get broken and get, now you don't have to do that. You just simply click and everybody share, 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 you know? But the mixing that area is pretty much. You've given a variety, 67, Cause people all still, time. Because people still just want to listen to what they want to yeah, listen to, right? That's what it's they want to hear a whole body of, of work, right? Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So as a mixtape, so you figure like you still, you know, providing the service of good music. That's a fact. To, to just to jam, to and vibe to. That's a fact. Because I could get a record that might not think it's hot, but you know, I put it out against my own. It's my judge different. And then you got to meet other people that judge it different than what I felt. And then they have to grow on me. It happens to me all the time. You know, but being a DJ, I gotta break the artist. You know what I'm saying? Nice. We the reason why our artists have a job. Hey, and I appreciate you take, come, take, taking out your time to come to KC to connect. Show. KC's you know, dead. I go by Kalia know, Clark. You know, it's Kalia Clark now, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna just pass it on to her show. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just passing through, man. First one, let's see. Follow me on Instagram at DJ Robbie Rob. KC, let's get to you, baby. It's her show, man. It's nothing like having your sensei in the building, the man that put you on radio for your first show back. Of 2019, God is blessing. God Ooh, is right. blessing. Good, 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 good. This good, is good. this is elevation. Got my boy Steve here, huh? Steve is what here. And he, and he always brings good guests. But before you know, everybody, we start talking. You know, I gotta talk about this R. Kelly because it's trending. I just gotta get it off my tongue. Yeah. I gotta get it's my true. followers. R. Kelly did not wrong. No, I, you know what? <laughs> the they lying. No, the part that really gets me is that why are we talking about this in 2019 when this came out in 2010? Preach! Preach! Are we bored? Do we not have anything to talk about? Because he was being in 2010. Like, please, stop. It's boring. It's boring and I don't want to talk about it. And I'm going to just leave it like that. The man already peed on her. 
And I'm sorry for that. Yeah, I apologize about that. that. But at You're this point, woman, like, you should be like, fuck I'm, him. No, you want to know why I'm not going to say fuck him? Because the girls got paid off. That means the money has ended. Now, Sparkle promoted her song during the interview. So that mm-hmm. was, she should. She's an artist. Yeah, yeah. but she should. If you were so flabbergasted by, by your heart, by your Get <coughs> and get the thing that bothers me, this way. and this is the part that really, really bothers me. Let's talk about the guys that used to come to the high schools and pick up the young girls. Where are they at? We're not talking about that. And let's talk about one more. Let's go and ask all the product people, who the people who are product of. My mother was 19 and my father was 36 when they got sure. when they got together. So there's a lot of R. Kelly's here in the world. So I'm not wasting I'm not wasting any more time. We have a great artist here, and we're gonna talk to you. Hi, welcome. It's okay. Get up. Elevate. Go. Are you wearing sweatpants? No, no. Oh, I almost had a grace. I thought I was having sweatpants. Thing. <laughs> Here at the Who Styling Who Show, you know we appreciate men in sweatpants. So I love you guys. Happy New Year. Keep doing it. Keep wearing the sweatpants for me. Welcome to the Who Styling Who Show. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Tally. Tally. And your light skin? <laughs> you know the whole no the whole world is beige. Light skin mafia. Uh, shout out to my girl Tracy. Welcome. Is this your first time at DTF Radio? Actually, no. Oh, yeah. Don't have a first time. Yeah. All right, well, welcome back. I came here, though, like when I was super young. Oh, now you're super old? No. Okay. How- but I consider my old self super young. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What sign are you? I'm a Virgo. Oh, the Virgo. This nigga out of here. This is a Virgo. This nigga tricky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't stop crying and shit. All right? Don't stop fucking out and getting emotional. Shoot, shoot this shit up. You know, Virgo, they'll shoot this show, whole shit up tonight. Everybody dying. For reasons, not for these. Though. All right, good. Yeah. Uh, where are you from? I'm from San Diego. <laughs> Everybody dying. I told you. <laughs> well, I'm fucking San Diego. You and Bloody Bird over there, baby. You good? You good? All right, you yeah. playing nice? Yeah. Alright, cool. Nah, smoke cool. 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 You are funny. I miss doing radio with you. You're a good character. I want to get right into the music so I know what I'm listening to. Mondays here are the new Fridays. Call us up 347 721 3161. We're going to play the first record. Do we have the music, Rob? Not yet. Oh, you got the USB? Did, oh, we didn't put it in yet. Okay, pause for the putting in in the end. I'm about to start saying yes, man. <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm still a cool guy. Um, no. No, that's the second artist. Well, we are live. Mondays are the new Fridays. It is January, the first show of the new year. What a fun day! What song you want to go with, brother? What song would you like to go with? Um, we start with How I Die. And why? Well, this is a lot of meaning behind that song. What's the meaning? You know, just. Casual events that happened in my life that seem to overcome, so that's why I'm still here. Okay, let's hear it. God bless you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, these, these are waves, so they can take some while alone. Okay, so we're going. So let's talk about this record. What's your IG again? What's your IG again? Your IG. Your, your IG. Oh, the real shampoo. The real shampoo. Instagram is who's styling who, right? Is yes. that like an underscore or something? No, just who's styling who, all in one word. What up, King Khalil? Oh, Jazzy, Joyce is on the line for more than one minute. That one. Yep. What up, G Money Stack? What up, April? Hey. Hey. You know we break records here. 
here. Who's styling who? Mondays are the new Fridays. Let's go. Turn up. Turn up. Hey. Steve's in the building. He always brings me the good artists. Fly high. What's the record? You like you only gave me twenty five dollars, my nigga. Like nah, you made three million already, but we put it all add up. So I hear you mentioned that you're signed. Congratulations. What is the record that you're working that all the DJs are supposed to be playing? Right now we're working two records. Okay, you bought friends? Uh, yeah, friends is right? We have friends? Let's hear that record. No. Nice. Is this a video? Yeah, it's a video? Right now on YouTube, we just got 350,000 views. Nice. Who were some of the features on the uh, on the records? Oh, no, it's just me. Just you? Yeah. Ooh, okay. You on your way, baby. Okay. Are you what's your nationality? A DP. <laughs> the ladies want to know are you single? <laughs> you know the ladies say he Latino, he gonna eat it. <laughs> 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 Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> oh, of course. You gotta relax. <laughs> right to the record. What's the name of it? Um, Friends. World premiere. Who produced this record? Nice. Nice. Where is he from? He's from Miami right now. Oh, okay. Another YouTube guy? Another YouTube guy? Another YouTube guy? He just did the tour Let's go, world premiere. Who's styling who?
I like that. I like the second record. Not that I don't like the first one, but I like the second one. I like things that make me dance. Your favorite? Both. <laughs> I like both records too, but I'm the Paula of it. I have favorites, and are we putting the second one on rotation here at the Who Styling Who show? Ooh, you putting the record on rotation? I have a mixtape. Ooh, oh, man, you win. Thank you. <laughs> it's called the Fourth Quarter Slaughter. Oh, but it's Who's first quarter now. No, it's fourth quarter for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm already in the fourth. This is your first quarter. Yes, this but is we're true. already four mixtapes. We're just starting. You you have... Finishing. We're starting. Yep, that's it. I'm over fourth quarter. Now I'm just playing. It's the first quarter for me. My new mixtape. Who styling who? Yes, I love saying that. Let that roll over your tongue. Who styling who? Mondays are the new Fridays, and we have them here. What's your social media so we can follow you? So you said you've been in the industry for a while. Uh, oh, actually, no, I actually just got started. Oh, no, you said you did the first song a long, long time ago when you were a little kid now. From, hold on, let's take it from the beginning. I don't want to cut them up. Okay. Like, what made you this, like, why are they, why are you? Who are you? Where you came from? Um, I just came from a couple of background, but I'm a little bit older now. I know that. I'm just saying, like, like give me, like, let's connect the, the label. Like, I, okay, like, I, I did a show, and then they saw me, and, like, how does that proceed? Okay. Did you wait for me? No, no, no. I actually just pulled up because I couldn't get my crib. So I pulled up to my man's traveling and I'm out. And he's like, I got that up. So when I came through, there was some guy that, you know what I'm saying? Work at the club. Because of the AR. Yeah. And I was playing my music and he was asking who I was or who was it. I was rapping at the moment and I said it was me. And he was like, he made me look like I am. You know what I'm saying? Trying to bridge it off. But he was fake. You know what I'm saying? Because he actually wanted to know who I was. So at the end of the night, he was like, yeah, I'm going to text you. Text you, I'm excited for it. You're not friends, not, you know what I'm saying? It's just going to be business. Yeah, exactly. Now you're here. Six months later, you hit me up, and now I'm here. Nice. Congratulations, my brother. Good luck. Appreciate it. Okay. Oh, no, the reason why I'm laughing. <laughs> And now I'm looking, no, because I, you were just carrying it. I just, no, no, I'm, I'm I just so was I'm let you know, asked all the good I'm musical questions. I'm just no, you asked all the great. I'm really cold. I'm just here. Well, in case <laughs> I'm a celebrity fashion stylist, so I need to know what's in your closet. What's some of the brands that you wear? Besides the bitch you tied up, nigga. I just lie. I just jump. I just stop. She's like, no, I'm married, nigga. Don't do this. <laughs> 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 Don't you got an R. Kelly room, nigga? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just some things that I have in my closet is like, I usually wear G Star jeans. Okay. I like Beanie Bell, Gucci. You know, regular. All foreign. Upscale shit, you know what I mean? Mm. Do you think you might do any um, clo- a clothing brand for yourself? Uh, no. No, if it, if, if, nah. If the just do two right. T-shirts for you and your boy. That no, <laughs> stay the fuck away from that clothing line. <laughs> Unless you got a couple millies behind that shit, do not get in. Don't line. print five shirts and tell me I got a clothing line. Now, we gonna ruin I'm your life. Before you know what I'm saying, I got into this whole thing. I used to actually go to a place and and do a word in my mind. Mm. But that's not that's you know what Kanye said right. People that's not Ralph though. <laughs> just, but just, just for the little effect that I had in, in my area, you know. Oh, it did the work. Yeah, people nice, wanted it. Nice, I nice. never did it because I was like, no, nah, I'm not coming out of pocket. Yeah, yeah. No, like you can only do like if you're bringing you. 
Exactly. That makes sense. And that's and that's how it was. If you're branding you, then it makes sense. But if you start doing like Snoopy on the t shirt, nah, nah, nah that's, that's, that's redundant. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I ask every artist that comes on the show if you could work with anyone in the industry, who would it be? Uh, right now, my favorite artist listening to is Tori Lane. Mm-hmm. It's done on a melodic level. You know what I mean? He controls it. You know what I mean? So, but that doesn't mean anything, though. Just oh, to be clear. Of, of, of course not. Because I don't even pay attention. He got like nine records out, and nine records aren't sticking. Mm-hmm. Just because he's I, on a record don't mean you're going to go. I, I, I just, just want you to be clear. Overall. I want you to I, do it because, like, yo, this is... I, I oh I this yeah, I, I love I follow, him. I follow Tory Lane. Like don't be like yo. Know if I get a Tory Lane record, I'm gonna be on. Nah nah nah. I want you to be clear because there's nine niggas out with records. That's why no one's on. That's why I would never like have a feature yet because I still my myself. Stay focused. Pop, yeah. Because of me. Because no features don't matter. Chris Brown's on. Chris Brown is on seven independent records. None of them fucking working. And, and if you nobody's really, playing. Them. If you really think about it, certain songs that are playing right now because of their features, and I'm not trying to be. No, it's because no, it's not because of the stage. No, no, I want you to be clear. It's not because of the feature, because of the bag behind the feature. Oh yeah. Exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. understand yeah. that. Yeah, it's not about the feature, Bobby, though, because because like I said, Chris Brown is on seven features right now independently. None of them are playing. Nobody playing them. Tory Lanez don't mean nothing. Think I'm just saying. It. Think about what Chris Brown is at. No, I'm just saying, of course where Chris Brown is at, but I'm saying as an artist. That you think like you, I got a Chris Brown record. It's, think about it. not, I, I it's not gonna go. Speaking about R. Kelly, I don't even see it. Like, no one's speaking about R. Kelly, but we paid our Chris Brown. They were open. I don't see it. I don't see it as a rarity, you know what I'm saying? In, in years to come, they don't do something like that to Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? Nah. I mean, nah all the media said. Nah, Chris, Chris Brown, Brown already went through hell with with Rihanna. There's nah, nothing else. What about the white girl thing? She's a hostage. That was done already. That was done already. All that the services. Chris Brown is done. Chris Brown is done. R. Kelly. You, R. Chris Brown is the king of R&B. Nah, he's done already. I'm saying like there's no more, there's no more scandals with Chris Brown. So you're only a hot artist if you have a scandal. No, he was just saying he's just trying to bring up other scandals. Oh, okay. R. Kelly ain't popping right now, but he's on Spotify. No. Who's listening to R. Kelly right now? Everyone. Have you? No. Are you paying attention to streams? Before that all happened, everyone. R. Kelly thing. Everyone. Who you drove past to listen to R. Kelly? Everyone, Bob. Nobody was listening to Nah, Bob, you, <clears throat> right. you ain't paying attention because you're young. No, you How old are you? I'm telling you. I'm 26. This uh, is why. You don't know. Nah, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm telling, telling you. Listen to both words exactly. Who <laughs> listens to that album? A lot of people. That's what I'm saying. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to explain to you. You're young. You're not paying attention to old folks listening to this motherfucker faithfully. I know a lot of old faithfully. folks are listening to Tiger Taste right now. But I'm just saying that R. Kelly, they listen to him religiously. I'm telling you. Why you think? Why you think if you're paying attention to streams, his sales spike 15 percent? That's it, 15. And so Jada like, Pinkett is like not happy about that. 15 percent after with no promotion. But yeah, you know what that is? Promotion. He's just being. No, no, no. no I'm promotion. saying no, my nigga. I'm saying no record label promotion. This is all media, all internet. You got to think about the world we live in right now. So right. Media is your promotion. Right, this is why I'm trying to explain this to you. Which is why I'm saying he knew well, record promotion. All he had was a social media promotion, which is why nah, I'm saying. Nah, no, I'm trying to explain to you. They've been playing his music, my nah, no way. Trust me, Google him. He was playing his music? Not, no, she's young. She's not listening to him. playing his music before, he, before that? Paul Kelly. Absolutely. He's See, an old head. Was he playing his music last week? Absolutely, he's an old head. Was he playing his music last week? He's a fast. Was he playing his music last week? Did you search up Paul Kelly? Way before. He was. You didn't search a bar you don't have to lock it. No, he don't have to search it. It's in his playlist. Girl, Sally, stand tall. It's in his playlist, my baby. Anyway, fuck R. Kelly. Let's go back to you. Yeah, Sally. We go on to the shit all day. Yeah, we're going to get into the shit all day. R. Kelly is fucking rich. You're still trying to get there. So, when can we expect Tory Lane's record? Tory Lane's record is coming out. Tory Lane's record is coming out. When can we expect the LP coming out? Actually, this year. This year, I plan on putting something together for people. I want everybody to enjoy something as a whole. Body, yeah, exactly. It's a whole body of work instead of just having a single there. I want people to listen to something. I could be versatile, I could go from rapping on something to melodizing on something. Nice, are you a singer too? I want to say I'm a singer, you know what I'm saying? So, you, you mm-hmm. could hold a note, I could hold a note. Sing oh, to KC, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Without the engineer, oh. oh, okay, okay. So, you sing in the studio. Nice. Yeah, exactly. There we go. You know what I'm saying? So don't call yourself a singer. Yeah, I, I can't really right. sing off the 
You're not. Know, just say you're not. Know, just keep yeah, clean. Of course. I don't. I don't ever compare myself to. Give give, give 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 me a social media, my brother. I am Talladans. I am T. You gotta spell that because you know everybody is not as smart. Yeah, spell it again. I a m t a l l y b a n d s. What do you want the people to know before you go? Uh, Any um performance is coming up. I actually got uh, another song dropping. Nice. Did you bring it here? I actually brought. Okay, we'll close out with that song. And What's the name of the record? It's called. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. So, the first song we played is out right now. It's out and the second one, but the first one doesn't have the video, which the second one does. Okay. So this the is first one has an animated video, which means an animation. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tells you. Yeah, he tells you. You didn't want to do this today. He's not here, Bob. You gotta relax. You gotta chill out. He said, but "The third animation. record is the record you push it, right?" Um, yeah, the, the third record is about to be pushed. Right now, we're still pushing the second record because the second record. Is the the animation record. record. Oh no, 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 the animation record was the first one. We garnered over two hundred thousand streams on Spotify. That's the one that got him signed. And um, right now, the song, the video that just dropped has. Nice, good luck, my brother. Well, I want to wish you the best success ever. I want you to thank you for coming. This was a surprise, so you got a legend here yeah, giving yeah. you the the nah, key. I'm, I'm relaxing. I'm not having yeah, because the, yeah, yeah I'm the Paul, I'm, I'm the Paul, I'm the Paula. I just to say, yeah, keep I, going. I feel that on the You're awesome. We're I think you're. Back. We're gonna put them through it. We're going to see if these bars is up. Do you want to oh. spit anything? Any bars? No, no, no. We got a lot of people out there. Today, he got to go. But next time, we're going to see if these bars is up, baby. I'm going to have you come in. Okay. We're going to so we're gonna set it in. But I want to close out with the final song. And what was that song? The song's called Blue Road. Nice. Who's styling who? Follow him. Casey the Connect. Oh, that's really good. Clark. Ooh. Yep, follow him on social media. Um, 
Who styling who Mondays are the new Fridays. He could have been anywhere in the world, but he was here. Thank you, Steve, for bringing him shampoo. Put him through his ringer. Put it through the ringer. So we're going to have him come back and co-host. No, I love you. Mondays are the new Fridays. You see what? You, you hot when they start bringing them to your show. They're going to send me a text like, how you let shampoo do that? But, you know, that's what normally happens. Mondays are the new Fridays. We have LA. Let me let them introduce themselves. Welcome to the... I'll add them. What's up, fellas? Who y'all? What's up, baby? You yeah, brought some alcohol for me? What we doing? Who calling us? Hey, yo, who's calling us, Spot? Who's calling us? Pick it up. Tell us, say what up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she know you want to lie, papito. She want to make sure you working. You like, you ain't, you ain't at the strip club throwing ones. Nah, I'm on the radio show, baby. Tune in right now. DTFradio.com. Well, first, I want to thank you for all the beautiful. Yo, what is this? Yo, this is hot. This is the workout. You had a bunch of female. Workout? I had a bunch of goodies. Goodies. Woo! Yes. Well, this for a workout? Where does the email went? It went to djrobbyrob.com at gmail.com. You're not having a flash drop? I have not. Always, always walk around. We went through this. We it's all right, but in the future, always. Oh, that's the one you sent earlier? Mm, no, I just sent it to you right now. Like, okay. Can we resend that to him? Yes. Who's styling who? Let's go straight to. Let's interview look, you because you're the clothing guy. I work for music myself, brother, and I'm always flash drive up. I sent it. I customized that. I didn't even know. Hold on, I don't even hear them. I don't even hear them. Go ahead. Can you, oh, that's better? They yeah, don't yeah, hear. I can hear them. There we go. There we go. Check, check, check. Yeah, check, yeah, check. yeah, yeah. We got the customized. The man has his own sneakers. Ah, no, you ain't bring me an 11? Nah, nah, You called them skippies. Yo, these are cute. Let me find out. I'm about to run track. What are the oh, R7s? The whole workout, the whole workout thing. We gave him the whole package plus the bag. It's oh, winter. Oh, look at the bag. The bag look expensive. Yeah. The bag look like I spent something. It's, uh, it's, it's winter's lonely, man. Um, you know, I'm broke, man, from La Royal, but I, it's not really about me today. It's about me. Well, about you bought me. clothes, and while we're waiting for the email, let's talk about it. It's a fashion oh, show. Okay. You, let's talk about it. Where can we find it at? Oh, yeah. You, go on, email right you can go on Instagram. Right. Yep. At La Royal Clothing. I'm on Instagram. That's all you do. You go to caresofclothing.com. That's us right there. Um, it's a unisex brand, right? It's yeah, women it's and men. Unisex brand. It's... Mostly women. Mm-hmm. What separates you from Alma? Yeah, Alma's yeah. killing you niggas. Yeah, what, yeah. what separates you from Alma, baby? Yeah. What separates us is our quality and we made it in America. So, oh. so, so, so uh, we ain't on no mega yeah, stock. Yeah. Yeah. We, we ain't on that, but we are made in America and, and right here in New Jersey. Nice. Uh, we from New Jersey, made right there. We do all our stuff ourselves. Kicks is nice stuff. How is it? The the sneakers that made in America too? Half of them. (laughs) Yeah! Yeah! (laughs) So what, the souls made in China? The soul, because let me tell you what, actually, actually. Talk to them about this, you know, the license in there. Because they don't understand this. They think that you could just put a sneaker out of this. No, no. Talk to them. Talk to them. Yeah, yeah, we have to pay, man. So so for a sneaker, what's the process for a sneaker? Like, how does it work first? For a sneaker, the first thing you got to do is you got to establish the soul. It's, it's not too many. If you make a new soul. So the soul is the bottom, correct? The bottom, yeah. So why do you have to establish the soul? You got to establish the soul because you're going to take somebody's patent already. There's not too many souls you can come up with that's not already licensed. That's going to be different for the From flip. a Nike, from a Beta. So, so they have patent and everything. So you got to get the person who made the soul mm. to sell you the soul. Oh. So, the thing, so that's why you see Jordans and you see Adidas, uh, you see Jeepers that look like Jordans. Wait, wait, I uh, was Jeepers. What's that? They like, no name. No look, name brand. Okay. No name that I don't know like. what that is. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, but I mean. It's you, okay. you it's know, the I'm shop there. I don't shop there. Hey, we well, look, some of us still go to Walmart. I still like going to Walmart. No, I, I, I bought hoodies from Walmart. All right, yeah. so, so if you go to the right down that half, it's okay. a sneaker out and all of them look like Kyrie's. Right, that is true. But and this that's is the really in there. Because the person that made it, yeah, the person that made it. It's so in the soul. So in the soul. So if you notice the soul is exactly the same, it's the top of the sneaker that's different. It looked like it, but it's slightly different. 
Yeah, I added this a little bit of education while we burn the time with Wow, with no, but then you have to enlighten us. So, okay, now you got the soul. Then, then what's next? Then what's next is you establish a design that could fit the soul. Because this, yeah. this is like, it looks like a front Adidas and Nike. Like that right there. Like, you look at that, yeah. it looked like that. <laughs> So, so what we did. This was, is an Adidas. Yeah. It looked like yeah. that in the front. I mean, yeah. Let's be clear. Yeah. We took we, we, we took we took the five like one like four or five of the sneakers that we like. One of them was a Hibachi. That's why people like oh they yeah, like yeah, that's right, that's right. Oh, this right here. Yeah, yeah so okay. You can see that, okay. that Adidas. Nice. That, that cross shape got that Adidas feel too. So yeah, we, we we try to mix it all up. It's a good shoe though. It looks. It looks it, I it looks, love the color. I will buy this. Thank what you. are the price see points? It, like on a on, on a rack next to anything, I'll be like, yeah, let me get those in white. And they're comfortable. They're made for walking. Nice. Oh, they're nice. really made for walking. So we we try to really. So what is R seven? L R seven is the the shoe. Is the, is the it's what is L R seven? Is La Royal. Nice. And it's yeah. the number seven shoe. We going from seven and to P E five. It's a Phantom edition. The black. We got red. Mm. We got gray coming on. So. Mm. Nice. Yeah. I like what it, are the bro. price points on the sneakers? The price points on the sneakers is a hundred dollars. Nice, That's not good. bad. Now yeah. the laces, do the laces anybody, or is there certain lace also when it comes to the shoe? No, no, you can you can pick and choose your shoe because they they got like it might sound crazy, but they got people that just customize laces and make laces yeah. for shoes. So that's a everything's a bag now. Right. Mm-hmm. So you have to pay for the lace guy. But you gotta pay for the lace guy. And the so lace these guy right here, come... so this right here is, is nothing. So if you go to the soul guy, you yeah. ask him. That's one of your questions, yo. What's the rest of the parts of the sneaker can you get for me? And then you have somebody that's working with me give you some sandwich. So you could do all this from home, mm-hmm. honestly. Mm-hmm. I mean I ain't I ain't shopping. Oh, okay, so the game. lace guy so this wasn't the money lace guy right here. Yeah, I just went with the basic. Yeah, money. that's the basic. Yeah. That's the And the basic costs money too, right? Is this like, like yeah, throw like it in, the, and when you buy a certain amount, they, they throw, throw the laces in. in. Okay, hey, okay, see, so they want to grow. Yeah. My yeah. favorite is the workout pants. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh Those man, these cool. are awesome. And they got the pocket on the side. I the side. Oh. know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Zip off? Nah, just for the female. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when you put the nah, cell phone. Nah, it's in there. Like, it ain't coming out. Oh, it's not coming yeah. out? Is it? It's stuck. Look, when you're running with the mesh, you know we can't oh, go anywhere. Oh, it fits with right in. Yeah. Oh, you're on okay. this with this. Did you patent this? Or? Nah, I couldn't. Who somebody else? Who, who somebody owns somebody that? Somebody owns that patent. I'm not going to let nobody get it. Oh, yeah. wow. You Haters. Get it. Yeah. It's like a pocket. That's like you try yeah. to pack it pocket. You just can't pop. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got you. Why Winners Only is the name of the brand. Well, why is this, is this the, the particular collection? This is this the particular collection, the Winners Only, or that's the name of the brand, too? That's the name of the brand, too, which is my boy right here, Fang. Uh-huh. Gillette, that you're going to get a chance to speak to. Okay. He the one founded and developed it. Okay. Oh, La Royal just felt like... Well, what does La Royal mean? Means? La Royal means we are all kings. Nice. Mm. Leroy comes from my name is Leroy. Nice. Which means the king, and then I put AL on the back, so we all came. Nice. Nice When's your birthday. December fifth. Nice. It just passed. Sagittarius. Yeah. Crazy Talk about. Sagis. <laughs> they are crazy. On, Any other? He said I had enough before they go into my life. <laughs> okay, who's styling who? We will be right. We'll be right back. We're going to go to a commercial hey, break. Yo, um, play, play some music, Rob. And then we're going to come right back. We'll be right back. DJ Who's styling Robert who? Robert we got here, La baby. Royal in the building. Not Look block, at... not block. I didn't say La Block. I sounded like that. I said La Royal. <laughs> Anybody give? 